so there's lots of days that I just don't feel like getting going with things like every day. <laughs> um, and I, I look at what I'm doing, right? Like, like I, I do endless revisions with papers. I don't think unless you're an academic, unless you're in, it may be not even a lot of academics don't even see this because they're in different fields and it's not like this. If you're in my field, um, and this is what makes it so challenging, right? If you're in a specific field, my field is like stupid in terms of just how little things get through and how much work it actually takes to get through the review process. And um, it's just endless, endless, endless working on things. And, you know, I think people don't see that they don't know how much work it actually takes to get through and i don't feel great doing it right the amount of work that that it takes the amount of negative emotions that you go through is is really high um and it never feels good right like i think people don't understand that that like this is supposed to be really fun no no, it's not, right? But here's the thing that I think about. And it doesn't really, it doesn't really like make me feel better, but it gives me sort of purpose and why I actually do this, right? I think about all the other people that are far worse off than I am, right? Um, I think about people that are going through war at this moment. I think about, um, you know, the people that are in the same boat, but they are, you know, doing something like, you know, cleaning floors, for example, right? Like, I mean, I love to, I actually really like to clean. I like manual stuff. I get a lot of pleasure from it. But doing it um, for 30 or 40 years, right? That there is a certain amount of drudgery that's part of it. And, you know, I think about those kind of things, right? Like who else has similar positions, but might not, you know, just might not enjoy what they're doing. Or, you know, I think about, and I know that this is a terrible analogy, but I, I do think about this, right? Like I think about my dogs, I've got two golden retrievers, they're wonderful dogs, and their life is amazing, but I still leave them at home. We leave them at home while we go into work. And I think about like, well, what are they doing? They're just kind of lazing around. It's not really all that exciting. Their life is not full of joy all the time. I think about all these things, right? As like, it's, challenging for everybody to go through this so even if you have like my dogs have a great life um you know they get treated very well they get a lot of affection they get the you know the best food all that kind of stuff but there's a certain amount of drudgery in their life as well um and you know that they have to sort of make the the days go by and even if they are in the wild right um you know, living the good life as people sort of assume that they do, they most likely would be starving most of the time. They wouldn't be doing that well. I want you to sort of imagine, you know, what life was actually like. I love these movies or these shows. We really like the show Alone, um, where people go into the woods and they try to, to live like the life of settlers. Of, what it was like many, many years ago, and they have no resources. And you see that they essentially, almost all of them starve. Um, you know, most of them would die. Um, you know, almost all of them would die. There'd be one or two. And, and you know, the, the, of the 20 people that start, almost all of them drop out except for one. And that was our life. Um, and I compare that to what I'm doing today, where I just have to do this drudgery, 
where I'm reading and I don't like to read. I'm not, a, it's not easy for me and I have to do endless revisions that are not fun, right? Like, I don't like doing this. Um, and I, I would, I would guarantee you talk to anybody, um, they would all say the same thing, right? Like, they don't like doing this. But the alternative is far worse. And uh, even if you were to get the alternative, let's let's say you were to get it, right? You you got your your dream thing. What was that dream thing? I don't know what it is today, right? The dream thing is maybe you're one of these um, YouTubers that are, or I know, I know, um, you are a world-class mountain biker. I've always wanted to do mountain biking and do all those really crazy stunts. Um, what you don't see is the endless hours, right? You see the crazy stunt, the one crazy stunt that looks super cool. But what you don't see is the endless hours of working at this. What you don't see is that most of them um, probably all of them are living probably under $40,000 a year, right? You don't see all of those things. And, and $40,000 a year is, is not a very good wage in America today. It's, a, it's okay, um, but it's not a very good wage. You know, it's hard. It, it would be hard. Um, it wouldn't be easy. Like if you start breaking it down and you start thinking about it, um, it's everybody has a certain amount of drudgery. Everybody has a certain amount of like, this is hard to do. And you start not necessarily, I don't, I don't like, I don't like or appreciate, I guess, you know, what I, I, I do in the same sort of sense, but I have perspective and I think about, okay, this is just no different than anybody else. Um, just as, just as in the same boat as everybody else. If I was, um, you know, a, an accountant for the stars, for example, making a whole bunch of money, not as hard work. They have to go through moments where there is a lot of drudgery that they go through and that's no fun either. So I am just suggesting here is that give yourself perspective, right? Like take a step back and think, what are we doing here? Um, think this, think, think about the, how do I get up and get going? And getting up and getting going is hard for everybody. And and it's just a matter of getting up and getting going and going through the motions and then living for those moments where you do get to hang out with your puppy dogs or you get to hang out with family and, and friends. Or maybe you do become the weekend warrior where you get to become that mountain biker on the weekends. I think... We just have to remember that and have more perspective, not necessarily gratitude. I don't think I'm going around like, you know, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for all this kind of stuff. I, that's not what I'm suggesting. What I'm suggesting is just having some perspective. And I think it's a wonderful thing to do. All right. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.